Hello and welcome to the virtual BMET Open event, where we will take you on a journey to explore the world of BMET and the course that we have on offer at the college. My name, of course, is Jimmy, and some of you might recognise me from attending events in your school to promote the courses that we have on offer across our three colleges, which are Matthew Barton College, James Watt College and Sutton Caulfield College. Now guys, before we kickstart the event today, I'd like to quickly talk to you about our closed caption option that's going to be available after the event. As you guys can see on the screen right now, we've got a transcript that you guys can get involved with. So what you want to do, you want to get a transcription of the event, you can go to ask at bmet.ac.uk afterwards and we'll get that over to you because we don't want you guys to miss a single thing. Okay? Brilliant. So guys, this morning you'll hear from our subject specialists. We'll tell you more about the courses on offer here at Matthew Barton College in subject areas such as accounts, business and law. If you have any questions, guys, for us today, I'd like to get them answered, please use our Q&A function below. After the presentation's over, we'll get as many questions answered as we can. So now today, guys, we have Nelly, Julia, Carly and Tracy joining us today. Over to you guys. Hello and welcome to Matthew Bolton's Business and Professional Academies Open Event. The Accounts, Business and Law Department collectively make up the Business and Professional Academy. This mirrors the industry sector. Industry refers to a group of companies or businesses, while the term sector describes a large area of the economy. This is a significant growth area, offering excellent and very diverse employment opportunities. So let's look more closely at the incredible range of courses that we have on offer at Matthew Bolton. Next slide, please. The Accounts and Professional um, Department Financial management is at the heart of every business, so the demand for accounting and financial skills is consistently high across all sectors. Our office combines academic and practical industry-focused input, enabling you to manage finances, budgets and cash flows effectively, and plays a key role in business growth. With AAT on your CV, you demonstrate a level of excellence and work readiness sought by all employers. Next slide, please. Our courses are awarded by the Association Accounting Technicians, known as AAT, which is an internationally recognized professional body and highly respected sign of commitment and excellence in the industry. As you can see, all the courses that are on offer here are with the entry requirements clearly laid out. Next slide, please. What's on offer in our business and business admin department? Well, we will help you to develop a wide range of skills to enter the business world with confidence. You will learn to understand the importance of the need of professionalism within the se business sector, including the significance of how high attendance levels, excellent timekeeping and consistently meeting deadlines can considerably help your job and promotion prospects in the future. Entry requirements are clearly listed in the next slide. The course offer is diverse and supports your initial starting points. In other words, your GCSE achievements. These are the business courses we have on offer. And if we go to the next slide, please, Jimmy. These are the business admin courses. The business admin courses also cover a range of different levels, so support your entry levels. Business course can give you the skills to into a wide range of clear careers, including insurance, banking, marketing, PA, events management, or even travel management. Next slide, please. Our law department is a, a renowned area with a purpose-built law court. Studying law is not just about criminal law, it offers you the opportunity to develop a range of skills and explore many aspects of human life. It gives you the chance to sharpen your mind, strengthen your understanding and deepen your experience of the world we live in. Next slide please. Law is for you if you want to study concepts such as freedom and vulnerability and make a difference to our world, no matter how small. You don't have to become a lawyer just because you've studied law. A law course can give you the skills to be a successful lawyer, but it also in 
successful producer, politician, manager, journalist, diplomat or police officer. A law course equips you with almost any profession that requires intellectual strength combined with a practical approach to the world. We have a right range of courses from level one to two um, where you will study business and law or at level three applied law criminology and professional studies. Next slide please. All of our courses whether you're studying accounts, law, business, have students have the opportunity to apply to become a careers college student where you will meet with representatives from national and international companies to help you enhance your skills for future employment within the business world. This is an exceptional enrichment program offering mentoring, guest speakers from industry and educational visits to companies as well as internships and work experience. Next slide please. This is the end of our presentation, but we'd like to finish with showing you the type of salaries and different types of employment that you could embark on if you study with us at the BMET. Employment is varied. The business and professional sector contributes 10.5 billion to our local economy, making it a viable career option choice. Apply for a course with us and we will start you on your journey to the employment of your choice. Thank you for listening. Back to you, Jimmy. Thank you very much, Nelly. Much appreciated. So guys, we're on the Q&A now. We've had about 10 questions come in so far. Let's have a look at the questions. You're scrolling down now. Got some really funny questions here. I've got, got a question here saying, nice hairstyle. Thank you very much. I think that's to Nelly, that is, not to me. Um, Thank you. Brilliant, brilliant. So, okay, first question's coming, guys, for accounts, business and law. What happens if I want to change my course throughout the year? That's quite a good one. What happens if I want to change my course throughout the year? Thinking other questions, maybe, or thinking other sort of um, ideas about courses and structures, but over to you, Nelly, for that one. Okay, I'll go to Carly, who can answer that question. Carly, I think you're on mute. Sorry, can you just repeat that for me? I'm just having a few seconds. Um, what happens if I want to change my course throughout my time at BMET? Okay, in the first six weeks that you start with us at the college, you will have. Um, an opportunity to understand the curriculum, what you will be learning over the next 12 months to two years with us. And normally that gives you the indication then that maybe if you've made the wrong choice, um, that there is an opportunity within those six weeks that we can look at putting you onto an alternative course and have a chat with you with our careers staff to help find what it is that you really want to do. If you study the course for 12 months and you think, it wasn't quite what I wanted, you know, I've, I feel now that I want to have a different direction in terms of my career or be more specific in, in what I want to study. Again, we can have those chats with you at the end of year one and look at an alternative that will suit you for year two. Thank you very much, Carly. Much appreciated. There we go. I hope that's answered your question. So, are the questions coming? Uh, the, the, the presentation wasn't quite clear. Apologies on your end, guys. It wasn't quite clear on your end. It was quite clear on, uh, on our end, but apologies for not coming through to your end very well. Um, question says, I couldn't read any of it. What were the entry requirements available for the AAT Level 2 programmes? So AAT Level 2, which question? If I'd like to go to Tracy for that question. Brilliant. Let's go to okay. So, so for, for the Level 2 AAT, the entry requirements are five GCSEs, a grade four and above, including maths and English. If uh, you do not achieve those, those entry requirements, then we do have an option to look at level one AAT. So we do have a course for you, regardless of what qualifications you come out with. So uh, Matthew Bolton, we deliver from level one to level four. So if you don't achieve five GCSEs, a grade four and above, including maths and English, we can have a look at an alternative uh, and start at level one, but it would still be with um, AAT. Thanks, Tracy. Thank you very much. To come back to myself now, there we go. Okay, guys, next question then. So I would like to be sent the PowerPoint so we can get these over to you guys yet, definitely for sure. We're going to keep you guys on the side there for a second. We'll get the, get the information over to you guys, no worries. Uh, the next question is, do we teach health and social care? We're going to come to health and social care soon, guys, on today's stream. For sure, definitely. Just check our website, guys, on bmet.ac.uk. You can see all of our course timings, what we've got on up for today, what we're going to talk about.
Jimmy, could I ask, are we going to put the presentation up on the website so st um, students can see it from there? I believe so. I believe so. Watch this space for now. Watch this space for now, but I believe it's going to go up very, very soon for you guys. Okay, we're going to scroll down to the next question. So next question is, uh, what grades do you need to, to do law? So I'm guessing that's quite a general question there, but what grades do you need to do law as a whole? Nelly, do you want me to take that one? Most certainly, Carly. Okay. If, if you leave school um, and you've not done very well at school or you felt that it wasn't for you, you can still come and study law with us at level one. Okay, it will be business and law and then you'd progress with us to level two and level three. Um, so no matter what qualifications that you come out of school with, we do have a course to help you if law is the career that you want to get you on that path. And it might be that it might take you a little bit longer if you haven't got the qualifications that you need straight away. But that's something that we can help you with. Thank you very much, Carly. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right, back over to myself. So just to answer the previous person's question regarding getting a copy of the presentation, absolutely for sure. What you can, guys can do now for me then, if you just ping over an email to uh, ask at bmet.ac.uk, as you guys can see on the screen right there, on the little, uh, little email sign next to the spotlight sign. Again, ask at bmet.ac.uk, get your inquiries over to there and we can ping over the presentation to you. Okay, following on then, the next question we've got then. So the question here, I, I, if I haven't previously done business, but have achieved the criteria to go into a level three business, is that possible? Can I ask Julia to answer that question, please? I'm gonna go over to Julia. There she is. There we go. Hello there. Yes, that is possible. And we do have a number of students who do join us at level three. Um, the thing with business is that a lot of the units that we teach um, are, there are transferable skills through those units. So you may not think so, but you will have picked up an awful lot of skills and knowledge throughout your school years that you can then reapply to the units that we pick up uh, at level three. Thank you very much, Julia. Thank you very much. Look back over to myself. Three, two, one, there's me. Cool. Right, guys, next question then. Let's keep loving it up now. So next question here is, I have applied for a higher education course here at BMET, but now I want to do an apprenticeship in business instead. How do I go about applying for an apprenticeship in business? Tracy, can I ask you to pick the apprenticeship one up, please? Over to Tracy. There we go. Okay, yeah, absolutely. You can apply for an apprenticeship um, via our um, BMET website. Um, there's there's a, a button that's got apprenticeships on there. You can directly um, apply online. You will then receive um, a, an interview slot, which you will then meet the curriculum team to uh, determine whether it's a suitable program for yourself. As soon as you've made um, curriculum ready, you will then have a follow-up interview with the business development team who will look at the apprenticeship side of it. They will look at your CV. They will look at what type of work you, you'd like to do, how far you're willing to travel. All that information will then be captured and it will be then put onto our talent database and then we will support you in looking for um, uh, an apprenticeship um, job. As soon as we've uh, successfully put you into employment, you will then be ready to start the apprenticeship um, uh, programme. Thanks, Tracy. Thank you very much. Back over to myself now. Okay. Next question, this is quite a good question actually, this one is, I want to find out this one as well. My qualifications are from Germany. Is that a problem for entry requirements wise? My qualifications are from Germany, yeah. No, um, what we will do is we will run a, a, a trace on the qualifications that you have and we will assign them to the same equivalents as our GCSE qualifications that we have in the UK. So you'll still be accredited with exactly the same as we do offer in the UK. Hello, thank you. Okay, next question then. So are our courses here at BMET equivalent to an A-level? So all of our BTEC qualifications for business, accounts and law, are they equivalent to an A-level? And which levels must they do to, to sort of qualify for an A-level essentially will be equivalent to an A-level? 
which one okay can we... level um level one is pre-gcse level two is gcse and level three is equivalent to a levels now depending on what um course you're doing will acquire a le um, one or two or three a level equivalents but you will be really clearly informed of this when you enroll with us and you embark on your course thank you very much nelly thank you very much i hope that's answered your question guys for that one i'm going to move to the next question now Let's have a look. Do you, do we guide, do, let me start that again. Let me get, let me get my words out properly. So do we do part-time adult courses for accounting? Part-time adult courses for accounting? Did Tracy? We uh, yes, we do at level two, level three, and level four. And um, we also have different uh, um, times that you can study as well. We do it in the day and in the evening. Um, level two and level three are a 35 week course. So you'd be coming in for one, one evening um, a, a, a week for over an academic year. And level four in the evening runs over two years. Lovely, thanks Tracy. Thank you very much for that. Next question then is, it's, it's quite a general question now, but on what days will the course run on? So I'm gonna guess it's gonna be all the courses. What days will they sort of run on? How many days per week? How many hours? I'm guessing roughly. I mean, that is quite a broad question. So who wants to pick that, that massive question okay. up? Um, I'll pick that up. Courses are generally timetabled for um, between three to four days over the, the course of the week. Whilst you might only be in for three to four, three or four days, there is an expectation that outside of a college, you will still be working. So it really is a full time course, although you are not necessarily in the college all the time. We will allow and um, will inform you of your timetable really early on so you can look and when you can see when you can fit in your part time employment. Thanks, Nelly. Thank you very much for that. So, next up, we've got kind of a student services sort of general question in. So, what is the deadline for registrations to start in September for BMET College? What's the deadline for it? Who wants to pick this one up for us? The deadline. We take applicants right through to the beginning of September, but you need to be really careful. We've got high demand, all of our business courses are at high demand. So if the later you put it, you could be on a reserve list, which means that you might potentially not have a place this September. So I strongly advise, if you're wanting to do a course with us at Matthew Bolton, you put in your application really quickly. So you're not disappointed. Thanks, Nelly. Thank you very much for that. I hope that's answered your question, guys, for that one. We've got a three, two, one, there's me. That sounds good. You've been shouted out. There we go. Not going to say your name. Let's go past that one. Right, on to the next, next question. Then. So the next question is, can a higher education, law and criminology course get me into university? And what career options can I go into after that? Carly, can I ask you to take this question, please? Uh, higher uh, access courses, um, education access courses, are designed to get you into university. So they're, they're designed for people that have not been in education, may have had a gap in education, and they are highly renowned for the universities. Um, the university that you'll go to will obviously depend on the grade that you achieve. And you aren't just tied to do law, um, you can study criminology, you could study business law. There are all sorts of different options within law as well, where we're looking at human rights. It might be that you might be looking at more of a sociology type career, and it's possible to do that having done an access course. Okay. Thanks, Carly. Thank you very much. Hope that's answered your question, guys. So next question is then, if I don't have the entry requirements for AAT level two, how do I apply for level one? How do I apply for level one? Tracy's going to answer this question, please. With you, Trace. So you, you can apply for level one again through the applications online. Um, alternatively, you can, uh, when you get your exam results in August, you can uh, pop into the college and we'll have a one to one discussion because we will look at an individual basis. If we do have a student who has strong GCSE grades um, and hasn't achieved uh, both maths and English, but has achieved one or the other, we can look at um, uh, possibly putting you on to level two. But again, that would be looking at your overall grades um, in terms of what, 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 what you've achieved. But again, we can offer you then level one. You can do an application now online. As uh, Nelly's already said, um, if you can, the quicker you do it, 
the better because even when we come into August, it doesn't guarantee that you're able to get a place in level one because our courses are of high demand. I'd also like to say we will support you. So if you've made an application to us, regardless of what qualifications you have received, we will put you onto the most appropriate course so we can internally transfer you with absolute ease. So please don't worry. If you've applied to us and you get better good results, well done. We can move you up to a higher level course. If you didn't um, fare very well, um, we can look at how we can support you to get you on your dream, into your dream job. So please don't worry about that. We can help you. Thanks both. <clears throat> Thank you very much. In my throat. So next question guys, I've applied for a level three in health and social care. If I was to struggle on that level, could I get put down to level two instead? Do you want to take that question? I'll take that question. As with any course, we will monitor you and we monitor you closely. You have one-to-one -one, um, um, tutor, which is almost like form at school who will support you and will monitor to check that you are managing and coping well in the class. It might not be that you need to be moved down to a, from your level three, it might mean that you might need to have to do some workshop sessions where we can upskill you. So we will look at what's right for you, we will try to put support measures in place to help you achieve that level three, um, whether that's um, accessing the hub where we can give you some one-to-one sub -one support. Alternatively, yes, we can move you down to a level two course. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nelly. Okay, next question, guys. So, when I finish my AAT level one, do I automatically get a place on AAT level two? With all the courses in the college, um, that very much depends on your attendance and your behaviours. You know, we are like an employment. So if you have poor attendance, then no, you wouldn't automatically get that place because um, we would be looking at how we are developing you ready for the world of work. So we look at a number of factors before we progress you. If you have done um, well, if your attendance is above 95% and you show that you are determined you will automatically get a place with us. Thank you, Nelly. I've answered your question, guys, for that one as well. Moving on to one more question, guys. We've got time for one more question here. I'm trying to squeeze one more in. Let's have a look. Scrolling to the top now. Let me scroll over to the bottom. Let's have a look. Here we go. Next question is, can we have a phone number or email to get in touch for uh, certain questions? Absolutely, guys. Again, get over to ask at bmet.ac.uk, as you guys can see on the screen right there. Again, ask at bmet.ac.uk. Get your queries over to us and we'll get them answered as soon as possible. Okay, folks, we're going to move on. There we go. There we are. So guys, at college then, there's a whole student experience team who are on hand to help and support you throughout college. If you need financial support, or like help with the college counsellor or mentor, or like to help research in the LIC, which is our learning resource facility, we are here to help every step of the way. If you want to get involved with activities outside the classroom, each college is a, is a dedicated student enrichment officer you can get involved with and do more activities on site. Moving on. So guys, again, if you want to find out more about what's on offer across the whole BMET College, again, we've got Matthew Barnkai talking about today. There are other colleges are part of our network, which are going to be Sutton Colfield College and also James Watt College. You can get involved with us at any means. Again, you can pop online, bmet.ac.uk, have a look at our website. You can see on the screen right now, there's loads of courses available for you guys to see as well. Okay. And again, guys, also today as well, this is the first session from 10 until half past is our first session for accounts, business and law. There are other courses available today that you guys can get involved with. Every 15 minutes, we're going to have rolling sessions. Now you can pop into it and get involved and get busy. Okay, guys. So guys, as you guys can't visit Matthew Barton College at the moment, I'm sure that you'll want to. Uh, I know I want to. I want to get involved in there now and get, get myself in there and have a look around. But as you guys can't get in there right now at the moment, we thought we'd bring the college straight to you guys on your sofa or your city or your bedroom right now. Sit back and relax and watch this short video on what the college gets up to on a day-to-day -day basis.
I'm back folks, I'm back, here we go. So guys, thank you very much for joining us today and getting all your questions in. If you're collecting your grades this summer guys, or if you already have them, head over to our college website, and as you can see on the screen there, bmet.ac.uk to get a place in September. You've been given a conditional offer, and we sent more information about how to enrol closer to the time. For all the team here at BMET from the Accounts, Business and Law team, we hope you enjoyed this session. We look forward to welcoming you to college in September. Thank you. Thank you for coming.